What's up, Ithaca High School? Welcome to Lake Street News, the number one news program in all of Ithaca. I'm Cora Easton. And I'm Hannah Barden. Uh, oh, I forgot. Are you have you done your Christmas shopping yet, Hannah? Uh, not quite. I actually have a lot more gifts to get. I've gotten some for my siblings, but mm, I, I got a lot of shopping to do before Pro Christmas. Pro tip, get them all at the dollar store. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Today is December 22nd, and that means that this is the last day until holiday break. I sure am excited for spending time with my family and friends. Along with being the last day until break, this is the last episode of 2017 here at LSN. We have gathered some of the Lake Street News' best moments of 2017. I'm Adam Andreas Danger Thompson. And I'm Teddy the Love Boat Tugboat Galanthe. I'm Jeremy Coyle. I'm Quinn Demarest. And I'm Zuki Wagner. I'm Cora Easton. Well, hi, Jess. Uh, I've got one final question. Um, Jess, do uh, you have a prom date? Do I have a prom date? I'm super cool, Adam. You want a jacket? I would love a jacket. Here we go. You warm now, bud? Oh, I'm getting there. That's good. Tupac is still alive. Biggie's still alive. Biggie is still alive. Kanye West is still alive somehow. Did you enjoy 2017, Hannah? It was better than 2016. <laughs> <laughs> now we go to Mike and Zuki for this week's MN Sports. Hi, Chess, it's me, Michael Gualtieri. And I'm Zuki Wagner. You're watching MN Sports. So let's get on to this week's highlights. Well, winter sports are underway, so let's kick it off with the varsity boys basketball game. The game started off kind of slow, but we did see points scored by Jamar Nimhard, Jordani Cuevas Marte, and a great play right here from Raekwon Brooks as he takes it all the way to the other basket. And we also saw Giordani Marte score his thousandth point, this being the second time a student at IHS has achieved that. So, Mike, what do you think about that play by Raekwon? Well, first off, I just want to say to um, Giordani, congratulations. I think that's an absolutely amazing achievement. And for us to be a part of him and being that great, I, I'm honored, honestly. Um, plays like these from Raekwon Brooks and other players on that team shows me that players like Giordani will be able to reach that 1,000 points, and clearly he did. Completely agree with you. We also see that Max Milton here hit three-pointers like it was a breeze throughout the game. We also see one right here from Luis Soto Marte. Well, Zuki, we have players like Giordani, Cuevas Marte, Max Milton, and Luis Soto Marte, and others on the team that have played together from such a young age. They are able to execute like those types of plays because they know each other like the back of their hand. That is a great point, Michael. We did see opportunities by their opponent corning, but the little red defense was too strong, so they did not get as many shots off. Mm -hmm. The boys' record right now is 1-1, one and, one, and I think we can expect a great season from the boys' basketball team. I wish them all the best of luck throughout the rest of their season. Well, IHS, we'll see you after break for the next set of MN Sports highlights. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to our channel. On Monday, a SWAT team entered into a woman's house on 2nd Street after a witness saw the man breaking in. The house is owned by the man's ex-girlfriend. The woman had previously filed a restraining order against him. The man barricaded in himself into her house at 1.40 a.m. Authorities arrested the man without incident. The man is from Elmira and is currently pending charges. That's it for this week, I Jess. See you next week. Happy holidays. <laughs> Look at our sport boys go. Wow. So proud. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. Now we can't use this take. <laughs> Why not? Now we can never use this take again. <laughs> you know, I think you're the best thing.